My name is Joanna Champa. My mother named me after my grandfather and my grandmother, Joanna, and I'm, what, what else was the question? I'm an artist. Oh, an artist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> I, I did it since I was a little kid. I just, I couldn't help it. I actually feel bad for my mom because when I was, my earliest memory, she came home from work and I had ripped down all her wallpaper because I wanted to redecorate. And she looked horrified, but she said, oh, what did you do? It looks like you've been busy. I'm like, yep, I'm redecorating. I was just always in my own world. And I just looked at everything like it was something magical. And I wanted to make something else out of it. Recreating things, just taking old stuff, finding trash and making art out of it. So I've been doing it since I can remember. I couldn't stop it if I tried. <laughs> I love history. And for some reason, when things are new and shiny, I want to just bring the spirit out. I want to mess them up because nothing in life is perfect and shiny and perfect. It doesn't stay that way. And I feel like that brings out the soul. So everything I do, I usually just dress it and take old parts and, and repurpose junk. I'm the dumpster diva. <laughs> I love dumpster diving. You know, I like the stories behind them, but I just love that they were handmade and a different lifetime. It was a different lifetime back then. I don't know, I don't follow any rules. I know a lot of artists, they'll say, oh, where do you show? Where do you have shows? I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a hermit and I just do my thing and I don't know, I just, I'm all intuitive. It's in my head, you know, and if I don't, if I don't feel it, I can't paint it. So sometimes it's, it's people say, oh, it's, you know, it must be so much fun to be an artist for a living. I do this because there is no time and there's no limit. So let me just flow and give this client all the best energy I can give them. And it's a constant reminder. It's like meditating every day. Even the days you don't want to do it, you just got to get through it and you'll get to that, you know, whatever they call it, the sweet spot. But you go into, I don't know, alpha, <laughs> go into another. I definitely go into another space where I literally start the painting and then it's nine o'clock at night. I'm like, what? I just started and I'll get up at 4.30. So I'm like, I don't even know how this happened. This happens all the time. I think most people are drawn to wanting to make a difference but putting something positive out into the world so I, I find myself drawn to things that oh, I wish I could do something about that and I'm like well what I can do is put beautiful things out there make things that make people feel better because you can't force that you can't force an outcome I want to leave strong energy positive energy healing energy behind because I feel like that is my purpose I always wanted to be a healer. And I used to say, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I wanna be a healer. And a client said to me one day, and she had, she had cancer, and she said, you know, when I look at that painting every day, it just gives me hope. And I started crying. I said, oh my God, I had no idea. Like, I am, I am doing the healing work, but I didn't realize I was doing it. So I always thought, oh, I gotta do this, and I'm not good enough at this. And, and then I realized, wow, I mean, maybe I am doing what I'm supposed to do. And that's the reason I keep going. Is, is put something good in the world and make a difference in a positive way.